Buenas, buenas. Welcome to In The Daw. I'm Kevin Ochoa, and today we're going to be looking at how to route audio into the virus TI and use it, uh, well, to use it as an effects processor for external hardware. For example, over here I have the Electribe ER um, rhythm synthesizer, and I'll be using it to route into that little boy. Now, let me show you guys how this is routed because it's a little bit, uh, well, it's, it's really basic, but then the problem arises once you hit the virus. Uh, so let me show you guys. Here's the Electrive. It's a pretty old machine from the 90s now. At this point, I don't think I, we, could, we would consider it vintage, but they don't no longer make this. Um, so we, here we have the left and the right output. And this is going into the Axis virus inputs. Here we have the, the snow, which is also not a, not a, no longer made. And this guy has four different uh, voices that you can use. Well, well, presets that you can use at a time. Because voices, it has 128. But here's the four guys you can use. You can just switch through them very easily. Now, I'll do a screen capture in a bit. But I want, I, I want to point out this because it's very important. Now, if you guys can't get any audio out of this guy, uh, or into it, I mean, we go into the one. We go out down here to the virus TI and select RAM by 6. And then we go down here to the input, which is a preset, sorry, which is preset number 125. And once we select this, you guys will see certain parameters that are not, uh, they, they are accessible, but you would miss. All right, let's go in the dock. So let's do this a bit quickly. Um, let's go right into the virus TI. We have selected the first uh, presets. We're going to go into the browser, like I mentioned, and then we go into the ROM. 5.6 or RAM 5.6, and then we go to input, which is preset 25. Now, uh, the, the main thing this does is set up your effects input input as static. So if I press play and have the mode turned to off, press play on my electric, there's going to be nothing there. Go to dynamic, same thing, nothing there. Then I go to static, and we get music. <laughs> All right, let's change the, let's change the drum machine. All right, let's do something. All right, what's the BPM on this? 130, let's set our dot to 130. So we have it sync in time. All right. So now we have it, since we have it like this, we can actually start putting effects. Let's throw an aphasia on there. Let's make it the hyper chorus one. And then my output's gonna be very, very quiet. So let me bring this up. Put some phaser on there. All right, cool. Then we could also throw the famous, and I need to accentuate this. The very famous virus TI. Oh, sorry. The very famous virus TI reverb, which is fantastic. So I'm gonna go into effects two, select reverb, turn it on, give it a large room, some decay, some little damping, color, make it a little bit darker, make it sound huge. Let's press play. You can add some pre delay. Without it. Yeah, it just sounds so different. Add some delay there. Clock it to one fourth. Ping pong it. And then, and then once we're inside of the virus, we can do a lot more things. For example, let's go to the filter, let's filter it out. And since we have the analog mode, we can go ahead and enable that and have a 24 dB per octave, 12 dB, 6 dB, or 18 dB. So you can actually emulate the sound of the, the 303. Also the Moog. And a classic 12 dB. 
So yeah, and you also have that saturation. Whoa. And the high pass. So we have a bunch of different filters we can actually use. So this is just great as a processing unit. Um, of course, we have the LFOs too. So we can trigger LFOs as well once we put in some MIDI, um, which is fantastic. Again, super amazing, super, a super versatile machine the virus is. Uh, let's start, try out some of the distortion units. Let's try the hard bounce. Try the uh, the bit reducer. Lower the quality. So it's just endless fun to have the virus TI. Of course, we have the EQ, the mid, the high. We also have the filter bank. Let's try this out. Throw some of that reverb in. Let's go back to the distortion unit. And go back to that filter. Very beautiful sounding uh, unit. Of course, uh, this is just touching the surface of it. So um, you can also resample. So for example, over here, what I did was I grabbed the, where is, where's trusty old Edison? Here it is. I grabbed Edison and I actually recorded some samples out of this guy. Let me load a sample. Uh, some of these guys I loaded up earlier. Let's play from the beginning. So basically, I just grabbed a kick drum, threw it inside of the edit inside of the virus, added some reverb to it, and I did that for a couple of the other samples. Let's open up another one. Uh, let's try the snare. And then once you start sequencing this, it's going to sound completely different from having your actual electric or whatever drum machine you have or synthesizer you have. So it's going to add a whole different dimension to your synthesizer. So this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, that you learned something new. I'm Kevin Ochoa with Inda, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. But if you have the virus TI, why don't you teach us how to make screeches? Well, I might just do that. See you guys later.